Welcome to the Grand Colonial. The elegant European style boutique hotel first opened its doors overlooking the Pacific Ocean in 1913. This Grand Dame is the town's oldest operating hotel and enjoys the distinction of being in the registry of the historic hotels of America. La Jolla and the Colonial are like family, growing together and contributing to each other's unique, stylish, sophisticated image while embracing the casual, fun-filled spirit of a Southern California beach community. The beautiful seaside village of La Jolla was officially founded in 1887 with the intention of developing a resort destination. It was immediately popular with weekend travelers from Los Angeles who camped in tents by the cove. But it wasn't long before the town's incredible year-round weather and oceanfront beauty drew enough visitors and residents that quaint bungalows and inns began springing up along the cliffs. While their genteel manners and attire were more conservative, families that visited at the turn of the century enjoyed swimming, picnicking, and searching for shells just as much as we do today. The town's growth from a quaint, isolated vacation and retirement town with unpaved streets and bicycle messengers began in 1908 when the railroad arrived in dramatic fashion. An odd-looking train named the Red Devil started daily service to and from San Diego. The lodgings in La Jolla were still relatively rustic, but in 1913, local realtors A.B. Harlan and George Bain recognized that a proper hotel would be a welcomed addition to the community. This was the year La Jolla came into its own. In addition to the colonial being built, the local newspaper was established, ground was broken on the La Jolla Women's Club, and the first theater opened its doors. The original Colonial Hotel delighted guests. Each of the 25 rooms and 28 apartments included the luxury of a private bathroom, and the rate was only $1 per night. The Colonial established a more modern approach to lodging to meet the increasing expectations of the people who were vacationing in La Jolla. It was described as a perfectly appointed apartment hotel with the finest sun parlor and lobby overlooking the ocean on the Pacific Coast. La Jolla's popularity and sophistication continued to grow. Within a short time, George Bain envisioned an expansion of the Colonial. He commissioned the design of a new structure, the appointments of which, in his words, would rival anything in the West. When construction began, the original hotel was moved around the corner. In its place was built a five-story colonial revival-style hotel with ornate and colorful details throughout. On opening night in 1928, Bain had violins and cellos playing in the lobby as he personally conducted tours of the finely furnished rooms. The new colonial also incorporated Putnam's Pharmacy, the neighboring popular drugstore where actor Gregory Peck's father worked as a pharmacist was known for its ice cream parlor and outdoor seating. During World War II, the Colonial served as a housing facility for married officers and enlisted men from nearby Camp Callan. The camp was an anti-aircraft and artillery training base on the bluffs of Torrey Pines. Because of its location and proximity to La Jolla Village, it was affectionately called the Country Club of the Army. After the war, in 1947, native son Gregory Peck returned to team up with other Hollywood actors to create a summer theater called the La Jolla Playhouse. The Playhouse's dramatic success attracted a constant parade of prominent actors. The Colonial served as a home away from home for many of them, including Charlton Heston, Pat O'Brien, and the lovable Groucho Marx. For the next three decades, La Jolla became a Southern California hotspot for outstanding surfing, tennis, and golf. The Colonial was now playing host to a wide range of visitors, but by the 1970s, the hotel's owners saw it was again a time for change and embarked on a series of renovations to modernize the building. 
and the famous Putnam's Ice Cream Parlor was converted into an even more popular 1920s styled restaurant called Putnam's Grill. It became a favorite with locals and visitors alike for nearly 30 years. The new millennium brought more remodeling, now totaling over $16 million. They expanded the hotel's number of suites and demonstrated their commitment to La Jolla's architectural legacy by incorporating the two neighboring historic landmarks, the Little Hotel by the Sea and Garden Terraces. And in keeping with the times, Putnam's Grill was eventually closed to make way for the contemporary 910 restaurant with its highly regarded California cuisine. The Grand Colonial takes pride in its heritage and in the efforts that are continually made by the owners and staff to provide first-class experiences for their guests. It is a thriving, well-appointed, triple-A, four-diamond hotel. Add to that the award-winning 910 restaurant and you have service, accommodations, and dining experience fit for royalty. The Grand Colonial stands proud and prominent in the heart of La Jolla, overlooking the timeless ocean on one side and the dynamic, upscale resort town on the other.